What's up sports fans, it is Yankees Jets fan back with another video and today I thought I'd show off another binder. I haven't shown off a binder in quite some time uh, so I thought I'd show off one tonight. Uh, so this binder is actually my upper deck binder. This is my upper deck Yankees cards. Let's take a look what we got inside. Start off with that cool Don Mattingly there. And this is the first year of upper deck cards. I believe I have the whole set. Ricky Henderson right there. I loved Ricky Henderson when he was with the Yankees. And there's a Ron Guidry. I used to love Ricky's snap catch. Whenever he caught the ball, I would try to do that when I played the outfield also. It's Dave Rigetti, Dave Winfield. And I remember when these came out, these were out of my price range, Willie Randolph. He might have been the captain of the Yankees at that point. Um, Tommy John, man. Tommy John had like two or three different stints with the Yankees. I remember he was still pitching with the Yankees in like the 90s. And he was doing well. Um, and that 25-year-old that arm of his, was Steve Sachs, when he came over, played with the Yankees. Jesse Barfield, man. What an arm Jesse Barfield had. There's another Jesse Barfield card there. Unless... Nope, that's what I thought. That's This is the next year's set. I've really got to start putting... Um, some index card to something in those empty slots so I don't make that mistake again. It's a Kevin Moss rookie right there. Donnie Baseball. And when Kevin Moss exploded on the scene we all thought that he was going to be the, the next big thing maybe take over first base but no and it was steve sacks again steve sacks still holds the yankees record for most singles in the season i remember when i met him i told him that he didn't seem all that impressed Sexy again. I love Steve Sachs when he was with the Yankees. I was a huge Steve Sachs fan when he was here. Mel Hall was a jerk. I've, I've heard stories about how he abused Bernie Williams when Bernie came up. It was Jim Larich. Jim Jim Larich as a third baseman. He played all over the field. He played in left field too. That was Neon Dion rookie. It was Al Leiter. Dave Winfield. This is when the Yankees had hodgepodge of different players that eh, didn't really pan out too well. It was Steve Balboni. Tom Brookins was a Yankee for a little bit. Tim Leary and not the uh, LSD guy. And this is the next year's set. This is Kevin Moss again to lead it off with Dom Mattingly and Tim Leary again. Scott Sanderson was a Yankee. Alan Mills. I remember Alan Mills as a reliever. And they're wearing the number one on the sleeves for Billy Martin, who had passed away on Christmas of the early the, the, the prior year. It's Dave LaPointe. He's a Pat Kelly rookie. Neon Dion. Matt Noakes, who never never returned my uh, TTM. I had to actually buy it at a card show. Bob Guerin, before he became the manage, a manager. Steve Howe. Here's the next year, and he's on 93s. Or is it 92? I think it's 92. Steve Farr, who took over as the closer for Dave Rigetti. Look at that sweet Kevin Moss. I'd like to see if I... I know I have multiples of these, so I'd like to see if I can try to get that signed by Kevin Moss at some point. Randy Velarde. Alfaro Espinosa, who... Decent glove, just couldn't hit the ball. It's Charlie Hayes when he was with the Yankees his first time. The Diamond 
diamond skills of uh, Jesse Barfield. Uh, this is a diamond debuts of uh, Andy Stankowitz. I don't know how he got a insert card. Hensley Mullins, who, by all intents and purposes, should be the, the manager of the San Francisco Giants. I don't know what they were thinking not going with him. They hired the, the, the guy from the managed the Phillies. I forgot his name now off the top of my head. It's a 4,000 hit. Four, I'm sorry. <laughs> 4,000. That's a 400 home run card of Dave Winfield. It's a pretty sweet card there. I like that one a lot. Mike Gallego. Remember when he was a Yankee? Melito Perez. Eric Plunk, who... I thought the Yankees gave up on way too soon. I know he turned out to be a pretty decent closer with the Indians. The Bernie Williams rookie right there. And he was a uh, card when they were filming Mr. 3000. That's Frank Thomas right there. They were filming parts of it at Yankee Stadium. And I was actually there when they filmed a part of it. And after they stopped the cameras, he came over and shook like shook hands with everyone. And I got to shake his hand, which I thought was pretty cool. I can say I shook Magnum's hand. I never washed my hand again. There's a scouting report insert on Andy Stankowitz again. Just pitch him straight balls. He's not going to hit him. That's the report. Danny Tartable. Get up all, signed for all that money. He was decent. He wasn't horrible, but... He wasn't great. Oh, this is from the continuation of the last year. I, going back for a second. Remember this guy, Brian Taylor? Everybody thought this guy was going to be the big thing. Then he gets into a bar fight and he ruins his career. And Gerald Williams, one of Jarek Gita's best friends. It's a JT Snow rookie right there. Insert. Donnie Baseball, I think this is Wade Boggs' his first Yankee card. Yankee Upper Deck card. Spike Owen. It's a nice little insert of uh, Danny Tartable. I'm like getting that one signed. John Haven. The Sterling Hitchcock rookie. Robert Einhorn. He's from Australia. I'm sure he's back there now. Nice Don Mattingly, Reggie Jackson insert. Combination of two of my favorite players. The Jim Abbott insert. Speaking of my boy Reggie, there he is right there. Actually, I don't know if this should actually be in the Reggie binder. I gotta take a look and see if I need it in there. The Pete Gammons, Bernie Williams insert. This one's going to be a long one, guys, so I hope you're going to stay with me. Grab some popcorn, some beer, whatever else you guys want to eat. There's a Don Mattingly, uh, Pat Kelly, I'm sorry, Roberto Kelly insert. Yankees Pride. And there is uh, one insert, a uh, rookie card of one Derek Sanderson Gita. There's a on deck with Jim Abbott insert. It's another Reggie. I gotta see if I need that into the in the other binder. And this is the next year of the upper deck. Here's Melito Perez, Wade Boggs, first upper deck card of Paul O'Neill, one of my other guys I have a side PC of. Xavier Hernandez, Luis Polonia. Shout out to Mike O. Terry Mulholland was one of his favorite players when he was growing up. It's Bernie Williams right there. Donnie Baseball Home Field Advantage. Mark Hutton, who didn't last too long with the Yankees. That's a rookie card. That's like a rookie card of his. Road to the Show, Derek Jeter. I think I have multiples of that card, and that's why it's in this binder. Otherwise, that card would probably be in a top loader. So Don Mattingly. So Russ Davis. 
Another Derek Jeter insert. And I think this is like the silver parallels from that set. And on to the next year. I think is the next year. Yeah, this is the next year. Jim Abbott, Paul O'Neill, Bernie Williams, Matt Luke, right there. Is it Jack McDowell? When we flipped off the Yankee fans for booing him. Burn, no, it's Malau Mouton. Ruben Sierra. It's an Andy Pettit rookie, I think. Bernie Williams. Mike Stanley. John Wetland. Tony Fernandez. And Pat Kelly and Don Manningly. And here's the next year. There's a Paul O'Neill right there. Derek Jeter. I have a larger Derek Jeter card of the same card that's in the uh, Jeter binder. Here's Joe Girardi. First year card. First year Yankee. First Yankee card. There's a Jorge Posada rookie. I think that's his rookie. Andy Pettit. It's David Cohn and Don Mattingly. Bernie Williams. John Wetland. I think Scott Kamenicki. Tim Raines. But you guys forgot he played for the Yankees. Won a couple of rings with us. Wade Boggs. Got okay, Wade Boggs' best of generations insert there. And how many of you guys for, for, remember Ruben Rivera? The cousin of one Mr. Mariano Rivera. Funny thing is, Ruben was the one who was the number one prospect for the Yankees. Matt Mariano. Guess who went to the Hall of Fame? Matt Ruben. There's a hobby predictor, David Cohn. Had Joe Girardi and another David Cohn. And we go on to the next year. It's Tim Raines starting off with Joe Girardi and David Cohn. And speaking of the devil, there's Mariano. And here's a capture of the flag. Inserts of Derek Jeter and Andy Pettit. We got Derek Jeter here and Dwight Gooden. That's when he pitched a no-hitter against the Seattle Mariners. There's a strike force Andy Pettit insert. Got some inserts here from the World Series. David Cohn, Jim Lairitz, and there's the final out right there. John Wetland jumping in Joe Girardi's arms. Daryl Strawberry got some. This is a uh, Ramiro Mendoza rookie. To capture the flag, David Cohn got Cecil Fielder. That's the final out right there. Charlie Hayes catching in foul territory. There's Tino Martinez, his first Yankee card as an, an upper deck. Paul O'Neill. Mariano Duncan. Mariano had that saying that year. We win today. No, we play today. We win today. That's it. That was like the Yankees uh, slogan for that year. And they even had t-shirts made. Andy Pettit. Shout out to Victor Negron. Bernie Williams right there. That Derek Jeter insert right there. Cecil and Tim Raines. Actually, that's the next year. Stop fooling me, man. I don't know, for some reason, I keep putting Tim Raines as the leadoff for the new cards. I don't know why. It's Tino. Uh, is that Chad Curtis? Yep, that's Chad Curtis. Jailbird Chad Curtis. He's in jail now. Mariano Rivera rocking the New York Highlanders shirt. The Gita. That Tino Martinez... Historic, uh, history in the making insert. Another guy at PC. 
That's actually a pretty cool Bernie Williams card right there with the triple image. Jelly Davis played with us, I think, for just a year. Scott Brocious. Whoever thought Scott Brocious was going to be anything good when he came over here. Man, once he became a Yankee, he just turned it on. Derek Jeter insert. And that's it for that year. Wasn't going to get fooled this time. There's a Paul, and, I'm sorry, Tino Martinez, Bernie Williams, Ricky Lede, another guy who everyone thought was going to be a really good player, Brocious, Curtis, Chili Davis. Actually, Chili may have played two years with us. I know he didn't stay more than two. That, look, check out that Derek Jeter Encore. I got to put this one, put this in a top loader or something. That is just a shiny, shiny card. David Wells pitching the perfect game insert. Hideki Matsu. No, I'm sorry. Hideki Arabu. Yeah, I was putting myself too far in the future there. Mariano Rivera. Couple of inserts. Roger Clemens' first Yankee card as an upper deck. Chuck Nowblack's first. His strawberry. O'Neill. There's an O'Neill Encore. Jorge's. And going on to the next year. Tino. Chili Davis. Oh, maybe Davis did play more than two years with us. I I, I could have sworn it was just two. Then again, he could have pitched more than two. Played, poured, played for two, but it was in, featured in more products. Nobby before he uh, had the yips and forgot how to throw. <clears throat> hmm, there's two different cards here. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, I see now. This one has his number 11 on it, as you could probably make out right there. This one doesn't. Hmm, that's weird. I never, I never, re I never realized that. Some of them have the numbers on the card, and some of them don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. A couple of inserts. There's a Derek Jeter insert. Derek Jeter checklist. Remember, that's Nick Johnson. Remember Nick Johnson? <clears throat> so next year, David Justice is a Yankee. I loved, I loved David Justice when he was with the Yankees. Plus, I loved, loved him when he was with the Braves. I was a huge Justice fan. Alfonso Soriano. That's his first year car, I believe. Eric Almonte. Chuck Nowblock. Satino. There's a Bernie. Man, these... Yankee teams from the 90s and early 2000s were just no joke. Especially the 98 team. That 98 team just steamrolled all over everyone. There's Mike Mussina's first Yankee card in the upper deck. Paul Neal. Remember this guy, Shelly Duncan? Supposed to be big time player. Didn't work out that way. He actually had a nice little couple of weeks stretched though when he was up on to the next year remember John Vandewall was a Yankee for a year let me not say that because then I'm going to see him next year in another card Robin Ventura another one who was a Yankee for a little bit another David Justice card there I know there's David Justice cards Yankee autographs out there I have to look, hunt one down Luis Soho is a staple of those Yankee championship teams. That one guy who could play everywhere and did and played well everywhere. He even managed in the Yankee minor leagues for a little bit. Paul O'Neill right there. And this is a Bernie Williams insert. There you go right there. The Puerto Rican flag. He's got a Roger Clemens insert. There's Jason Giambi. 
his first uh, Yankee card. Derek Jeter. Rondell White. He was a Yankee for a little bit. So we got two different Giambi cards there. Another Bernie Williams chasing history. Clemens. A Bernie Williams insert there. Yeah, two Bernie Williams inserts right, right, right next to each other. And we go on to the next year. Another Rondell White. Marcus Thames, who's now the Yankee hitting coach. Juan Rivera. Remember Juan Rivera? Raul Mondes, he was a Yankee for a little bit. I think he's in jail now, too. What happens? You become a Yankee and you go to jail right afterward? What's up with that? Soriano, Nick Johnson. Andy Pettit, that's what it is. I can't see with the shine. Mickey Mantle right there, insert. Clemens. Jose Contreras, rookie. Hmm. There's another Reggie. I don't think I have that in my Reggie binder. I may have to move him over. David Wells. Steve Carsey. There's the first Sadeki Matsui. Upper deck Yankee card. So Derek Jeter, insert. Another Mussina. Another Jeter insert. Yeah. Man, I gotta really go through this binder and see who needs to be moved where. Got some rookies that didn't pan out. There's A Rod's first upper deck Yankee card. Javier Vasquez. That guy was supposed to be really good. Again, yeah, he didn't pan out either. Another another uh, free agent signing that just didn't pan out for the Yankees, pitching wise. It was a stretch where uh, the general manager Brian Cashman signed a lot of um, pitchers that just didn't pan out, like Kevin Brown, Javier Vasquez, Jeff Weaver. That's when I think he won his 300th game at the stadium. It was Gary Sheffield's first Yankee card. That's an upper deck. There's. There's Kevin Brown. Can't stand Kevin Brown now. Whitey Ford. John Lieber. Man, the Yankees signed him when he was injured, and they waited like a year and a half. And he came back, and he paid dividends for the Yankees. Won like 16 games his first year back. Messina insert. Uh, Jose Contreras is in the highlight. I think that was a, a game piece. Derek Jeter. And we got we had a run of Hideki Matsui cards. We got like a ton of these. It's almost like I'm a Hideki Matsui player collector or something. Well, wouldn't have, wouldn't have been a bad guy to collect. I love me some Hideki Matsui. I still think he's the best Japanese player ever to play for the Yankees. Game on to the next year. Start off with Jorge Posada. Yankee checklist there. It's Kevin Brown again. Alex Rodriguez. I used to collect Alex Rodriguez. He was a guy I was convinced was going to be the man that was going to just take over Barry Bonds and take that home run title away from him. I got to be honest with you guys, when I found out that he was a steroid guy, I just stopped collecting him. I was really disappointed. I threw out my A-Rod t-shirt. I know some guys are probably like, well, why? So what? To me, it's just, I just can't stand that. I What the hell is going on out there? I don't know if you heard that bloody scream. I just curled out through my window. I don't know what the hell is going on out there. Sheffield, Mariano Rivera, Derek Jeter insert, and a Sheffield insert. Getting back to the whole um, A Rod thing, I, 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 again, some people don't care about the steroid era. I, I, to me, it was black eye on baseball, and I just don't condone 
ster the use of steroids or any player performance enhancing. Um, I don't. I guess you can call it drugs if you want, but that's just my opinion. I don't question. I don't um, judge anybody who doesn't mind it or you know. I mean, I I think uh, this guy. A Rod Collection, uh, who does, I forget his name. He does, he, ho, pod, he has a podcast, Essential Collegials. His A Rod Collection is second to none, and at times it has me wishing I still collected A Rod. But that was a decision I made, and I stand by it. Kyle Farnsworthless. I hate Kyle Farnsworthless. That guy gave up more leads than anybody. It's Johnny Damon's first Yankee card. I don't like having this in the collection, but. There's the Yankee logo on it. Now here's something I've been wanting to ask some of you, some of you guys. Leave your leave it down. Leave, leave your comments down below on this. If you have a card, be it a insert or a regular base card or like a relic or something, and it has your team logo, but the player is featured in a different uniform, does that still stay in your collection? Or do you get rid of it? Or do you not even bother picking it up? I mean, I I still pick them up, I guess. And as, as you know, it's a Red Sox uniform and it's in a Yankee binder. So, obviously, I still pick it up. But uh, just tell me what you guys think. Leave it. Leave your comments down below. There's a Jason Giambi insert. Carl Pavano. That bastard. This is Randy Johnson's first upper deck Yankee card. Dara Rasner. Tyler Sturtz. Wow, I forgot. Oh, Octavio Dotel. He played for a million teams. Jared Wright played for the Yankees for a little bit. It's an upper deck, all upper deck team. Derek Jeter insert. Kelly Stinnett played for the Yankees. Well, that's not a surprise me because I have a Kelly Stinnett. My only game used piece in my Yankee collection is actually a game used bat that was gifted to me by someone who bought it. And it's a Kelly Stinnett. Andy Phillips. It was Kevin Brown again. Well, I guess Kevin Brown stuck around a little longer than I thought. Jeff Karstens. That Miguel Cabrera? No, not Miguel Cabrera. I'm sorry. Um, Melky. I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> Miggy. Scott Proctor. Bobby Abreu. JT Beam, who was supposed to be a pretty good reliever. There's Mike Myers. Yeah, baby. There's Tino. Tino came back to the Yankees for a little bit. For like a year, I think. It's Joe Torre. The Babe. Some inserts here. Lou Gehrig and Cal Ripken. These are some inserts. I don't know what they were doing. I think these are the only three I have. Here's the next year. Josh Phelps, Johnny Damon, Mariana Rivera. Actually, I just realized that that was from the next year. Those, those inserts, because they're in the bottom here. There you go, see? And I got one more here. There it is. And Robinson Cano, that's, that's my first Robinson Cano upper deck card. I don't know if it's his first. Miguel Cairo. Yeah, two stints with the Yankees. Luis Viscaino. Star Power A Rod insert. Got two different Jason Giambi cards here. Andy Pettit when he came back with the Yankees. And I was able to spell out. I got all the inserts here that spells out Jeter. J-E-T-E-R. Jeter. Bernie. Love this Dermot Munson Card right there. And MVP predictors. Bobby Abreu. Mike Messina. Let's 
See, there we go again. Andy Pettit's listed as a Yankee, but he's in an Astros uni. Chris Britton and the return of Roger Clemens. On to the next year. Posada, Jeter, Giambi. There's Chingman Wong. Is it Chingman Wong? Yeah, that's Chingman Wong right there. If you get a, get a chance, watch the documentary on him on Netflix. It's pretty interesting. It, tells, it just goes through his rehab and him trying to get back to the majors. It's, it's just, I, it's, it's a great documentary and I, I feel bad for the guy. I always, there's the, the Mr. November insert, which I think is cool. Getting back to Wong, I always felt bad for him because he played well for, he played well for the Yankees. And there was that nut. Um, and it was just a freak injury that, um. Yeah, that just that you know that that pretty much derailed his career. Star Quest cards. Try to hurry this up. It's already been half an hour. Sorry about that, guys. Some Derek Jeter inserts. Kiyagawa, probably the worst international signing the Yankees ever had. Some A Rod Star Quests. No, it's not A Rod. It's Jeter. Sorry about that. There's the A Rod. Mario Rivera. Probably should have broken this up into two. Look at that foil Star Quest of A Rod right there. And I believe this is the last year of Upper Deck. Xavier Renati. It's Moose. Phil Hughes. And that's it, guys. Oh, it's already a half an hour. I didn't realize this was going to be so long. Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you guys did stick around and check it, took a look at my upper deck binder. Um, please leave all comments down below. Remember that question I asked? If you have a card where the player is featured in a different uniform, but your team logo, do you keep the card? Do you get rid of it? I'm really interested in hearing what you guys got to say about that. Um, please subscribe for more content such as the one you watched tonight going forward and um, I thank you so much for sticking around for this really long video on my upper deck Yankees binder hope you guys have a great night and remember guys card family for life essay peace